Hi there! Have you ever wondered why some apps always end up on top of the App Store or Google Play without huge ad budgets? The answer is simple. ASO – App Store Optimization App Store Optimization, or ASO, is how your app becomes visible in search results. Just like SEO for websites, ASO helps users find your app using keywords, words they type into the App Store or Google Play. For example, if someone types home workout or children's learning game, ASO helps your app appear when they search for these terms. Without ASO, your app may never reach the right audience. But with ASO, you attract users who are actively searching for apps like yours, organically and for free. The task of ASO is simple. Find the words users type when looking for apps like yours, then add those keywords to your app's description so it shows up in those searches. In this video, I'll show you how to do this using only free tools, step by step, in ASO Mobile. These tools are always available for free, no trials or subscriptions required. And importantly, these are ASO tools specifically designed for mobile apps, because using SEO tools is highly not recommended. Users behave differently on the web. Ready to start? Let's go! ASO starts with finding the right keywords, words people use when searching for apps like yours. This is called the semantic core. To get those keywords, you need data, and that's where ASO Mobile's free tools can help. Let's break down each tool and how it works. We'll use a popular app, Duolingo, as an example. To get started, we need to add an app. Click the green plus application button. Don't worry, you don't need to be the owner of the app to do this. Anyone can add any app from the store, even a competitor's. Unfortunately, I'm not the owner of Duolingo. Once you add an app, you'll immediately get keyword suggestions. Add the ones that make sense for your app to your keyword list. When you add an app, you'll enter the app report tool. Some of the data here is available for free. You can check out key information about your app and your competitors, their text and visual elements, search visibility, category rankings, availability in different countries, and other useful details. It's a great tool for competitor analysis and finding opportunities for improvement. Personally, I like to get inspiration for icons and screenshots, as well as for app names and descriptions, by analyzing competitors. But now, let's focus on an earlier stage. Keyword research. We'll dive in. Let's move on to the Keyword Monitor. Here, you'll see all the keywords you've added from other tools. I can see the keywords I added when I added the app. You'll also see the traffic for each keyword. This shows how popular the search term is in a specific country each day. This is a very useful metric for prioritizing which keywords to focus on. There's also the search ads metric. It shows the popularity of a keyword in paid ads, with a score ranging from 5 to 100. The higher the score, the more popular the keyword is. ASO specialists often use this metric to assess how relevant and competitive a keyword is. After all, it's important to choose not just any keywords, but the ones that users are actually searching for. Use AI suggestions to add even more keywords to your list. I prefer to create a large list first, and then prioritize the keywords based on their popularity and competition level, to focus on the ones that are most important for me. But unfortunately, the free plan limits the number of keywords you can add. Next to each keyword, there's a light bulb icon. You can check the suggestions the App Store provides when you type that keyword in the search. It's a very reliable source of the actual search terms that users are looking for, and we'll talk more about this later. Add the relevant suggestions to your list. The magnifying glass icon lets you check each keyword in detail with the free keyword check tool, which I'll explain later. Another important feature that's available for free is search results. The vertical bar to the right of the keyword. Essentially, you can check how this search query looks in the search results, what apps the user will see. This is important to understand if the query is relevant to your app. How do you determine this? Look at which apps appear in the results. If they're your competitors, it means you can add the keyword to your list. If, for example, the apps are from an entirely different category, it's better not to waste time on an irrelevant query. By the way, the second way I use this data is for quickly adding competitors. 
Just click the plus icon next to the app and add competitors. This will help you in finding keywords. As you can see, there's also a graph here. We use this tool not just for collecting keywords, the semantic core, but also for tracking your app's position in search results. This is called the rank in the table. So, when a user from the USA types in that search query, your app will appear in that position. Our goal is to improve your app's ranking for the keywords that matter most. You can track your positions on the graph and always see the current rank here. This will help you analyze your ASO results. Now, let's look at the Keyword Suggest tool. This tool shows you the suggestions that appear when users type certain keywords. It's really important because it gives us one of the few insights the app stores share with us. If a store shows a keyword as a suggestion, it means that keyword gets traffic, as stores only show search terms that users are likely to search for and click on. Just like when you type learn in the app store and get suggestions, Keyword Suggest shows a list of related search phrases in alphabetical order. For example, you'll see what suggestions appear if you type learn and then the letter A or any other letter of the alphabet. The tool also provides traffic data and search results. You can easily see if a phrase is commonly searched and if it fits your app. If it does, just remember that all the keywords you add will appear in the keyword monitor. Now, let's move on to competitor keyword research. In ASO Mobile, there are many tools for tracking competitor keywords, but when it comes to free options, we have the Text Analyzer. Here, you can paste the description of your competitors. I recommend adding a few at once to save time, but you can also do it one by one if you're focusing on a specific app. You can also paste review text or other content related to the app. After that, click Analyze, and you'll see the keywords ASO Mobile finds in the text. What's important here is that these aren't just any words, but keywords with traffic in the app stores. The keywords are divided by word count, from one to four words. This is really useful because a one-word keyword is usually more general, competitive, and popular, while three- or four-word keywords are often less competitive and may be a better fit for new apps. First, you'll see the keywords that repeat most frequently in the text you've entered, which are likely more relevant. Add the keywords that work for you to the keyword monitor. By the way, there's another useful feature in the text analyzer under the Repetition and Keyword Stuffing tab. It's important for the next step, creating metadata. Metadata, in this case, text metadata, includes the title, subtitle, app description, and other elements depending on the app store. Here, you can check your text for keyword stuffing. This is especially important for Google Play, as the text shouldn't have too many keywords, so it doesn't seem like it was written only for algorithms. You can't just list keywords separated by commas. If you do that, Google Play will penalize your app's visibility in search results. I'll leave a link in the video description to a detailed guide on how to optimize metadata for Google Play. ASO is different for each market, so it's important not only to find the right keywords, but also to fill out the fields according to each platform's rules. Now that we've covered competitor research and preparing your metadata, let's dive back into keyword analysis. As I mentioned earlier, the Keyword Check tool is a very useful resource for analyzing keywords. Simply enter a keyword and you'll see all the essential data, including traffic and keyword suggestions. With the paid plan, you'll also get additional information like keyword difficulty and effectiveness. The most important feature is that you can see the top apps in the search results for that keyword, which helps you assess its relevance and competitiveness. Now let's move on to creating metadata. The main tool for creating metadata is ASO Creator, which is available with the paid plan. I highly recommend trying the trial period. But since this video focuses on free tools, I want to share a tool that will be helpful for filling out the keywords field in the App Store, Keyword Builder. To find the Keyword Builder tool, you need to switch to the menu, All Tools, on the left, also called Pro, if it's not enabled for you. Then, go to the ASO section. Creating ASO. Using the Keyword Builder tool, you can easily convert your list of search queries for the Keywords field in the App Store. According to App Store rules, 
you need to enter words in the keywords field without repetitions, separated by commas, and without spaces. I'll leave a link below the video to a guide on optimizing metadata in the App Store. Keyword Builder will extract unique words from your semantic core and also transform them into the required format. Here's how it works. Import keywords from Keyword Monitor, or manually add them in the field on the left, separated by commas or spaces. Then select the desired settings and click Transform. On the right, you'll see a list of unique words from your semantic core, along with the number of characters and words. This list is editable, so you can make changes as needed. Remember, the character limit for the keywords field is 100 per localization, so prioritize if you have more keywords. Don't duplicate keywords that you've already used in the title or subtitle. Duplication won't help in the App Store, unlike Google Play. Instead, try using more unique words within the character limit. At the bottom left, you'll see the repetition count for each word in your list, which will help you prioritize the most important ones. The more search queries you can create from a word, the more valuable it is. When your list is ready, click the Copy button and paste it into the Keywords field in App Store Connect. Keyword research isn't just about improving your app. It's also about understanding the market and trends. And for that, you have some useful free tools. In the top keyword section, you can explore the most popular search terms filtered by country and platform. This is really helpful when choosing your app's niche or seeing which topics are becoming more popular. Trending searches lets you follow changes in the market over time. Keep in mind that trending data is currently available only for the App Store. You can see which search terms are becoming more popular by the hour, day, or month. This can help you spot trends and figure out if your app can take advantage of them. In the top charts, you can check which apps are gaining popularity in different categories. This is useful when you need to decide, should your app focus on a trending topic to attract quick attention? or should it aim for long-term growth in a more stable, less competitive area? These tools give you valuable information to help you make better decisions, positioning your app for both immediate success and long-term growth. If you've tried the free tools and want to dive deeper, you can unlock the full ASO Mobile Toolkit with a special offer. Use the promo code ASOSTART for 30% off any paid plan. The full version gives you access to more advanced analytics, which can save time by simplifying tasks with just a few clicks. You'll get features like full app tracking, competitor monitoring, visibility history, exportable reports, and more. Even with the basic ASO Indie plan, you'll have access to many useful tools that make keyword research and ASO performance analysis easier. If you're not sure, you can try the trial period to explore the full functionality. While the free tools are great for starting out, the full version offers everything you need for a complete ASO strategy in one place. The link to ASO Mobile and the promo code ASOSTART can be found in the description. And that's it for today, but don't worry, we've got plenty more helpful videos on ASO and mobile marketing on our channel. We're here to help your app stand out and get more downloads. If this video was useful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more easy to understand mobile marketing tips. Drop a comment below if you've tried any of these tools or if you need help with your app's ASO. And remember, you can grab your 30% discount with the promo code ASOSTART. Thanks for watching and happy optimizing.